in order uh, to uh, foster these giftings. These giftings are available in your districts, in your sections. So please identify and recognize people with these singing gifts in your respective areas. And use them in your conferences in the districts and sections. And if you are not sure, you can contact the director and he will advise you accordingly. Let's spar all these gifts. Let's affirm the people with the same gifts. And also help them to grow. And uh, just support them. Praise the Lord. This song will sing, uh, sign our young men, uh, Duncan Boas. Let's thank God for and his songs are now famous all over East Africa. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Na mpaka hata Brasbane ni za majeshi zinacheza muziki wake. And he is even the songs have been used in the uh, army brass bands. Za vijana wetu hawa wa chini. Uh, songs composed by TG Young Men and Women. Hebu tumpe Mungu shukuru. Let's ask God to raise up We want to thank God for the servant of God, Dr. King. We thank God for the way He loves us. And we also are grateful for the way he really cares for us. We could not have enough words to express our sense of appreciation. Uh, this moment, let's open our hearts. And we His grace, we are greatly appreciating for His grace. You know, English is my, not my own language. I'm very difficult to speak in English because of, I'm 45 years in New York ministry, always speaking Korean, preaching, Counseling, even prayer, I always pray within Korea, not Swahili. I'm sorry that I have a sometimes difficult to uh, explain what I'm believing and what I want to talk. This morning, the scripture I'd like to share with you. Deuteronomy 15. 15 verse 15. 
Remember that you were slaves in Egypt. Anasema Pano Kunatano, Anasema Nawe Utakumuka Yakua Wewe Ulikuam Tumwa Katika Nichia Misri. And the Lord your God will redeem you. Nayakua Kwana Munguako Alkutoa Huko. That is why I gave you this command today. Kwa mkono wa nguvu na mkono ulio nyoshwa kwa sababu hiyo bwana mungu wako alikuwa nguru ushike uishike sabaki. Remember, kumbuka. Before we put up, I'd like to recognize one crew who are serving the children in the church and in the community. Kakula hapia sahau na taka ni kujulishe kuhusu kundi moja ambalo ni na watumikia watoto. Children minister, mtumishi wa watoto, nobody pay attention. Hakuna anani mjari, nobody knows how hard to serve the children. Diyako kuwa kuna ugumu sana kwa watumikia watoto. But they trust. God and believe that their ministry will be future impact for the children's life. Lakini hao watu huwa wanamwamini Mungu kwamba kwa huduma yao maisha ya watoto hawa yatakuwa bora hapo baadaye. As you have heard about not much financial support, kama ulivyosikia hakuna msaada wa kutosha wa kifedha kwa watu not even in emotional serving the support from the church congregation. Many people they believe that they they just babysitters. What we But remember, lakini kumbuka they are great work. Children's leader and teacher, children will go the wrong way. Bila juhudi ya huyu mwalimu wa watoto, hawa watoto watapotoka. No money pay attention, but they always faithfully take up our children for next generation. Hakuna anai wajani, lakini watu hawa siku zote. Wanachukua watoto wadogo ambapo kizazi cha kesho kwenda katika hatua bora zaidi. We have to be in any way we prioritize about their ministries, increase them and support the financially, morally and spiritually we have to push them to hard work. Tunapaswa kwa maksudi kabisa kuwatia moyo hawa kifedha na ki mawazo ili kwamba waendelee na hiyo kazi ngumu. I believe many of these here they are here with us. Ninaamini baadhi yetu wengi wetu hapa mtakwepo hapa wa namna I want to recognize them. They are hero of our generation, also our ministries. Napenda kuwatambua kwamba watu hawa ni mashujaa wa kizazi chetu pia wa huduma zetu they are always front line siku zote wao wako mstari wa mbele they are pioneer pioneer wa, wao ni waanzilishi wa mambo they are faithful christian work ni watumishi wa kikristo ambao ni waaminifu Anybody who work for children ministries or children nani, in the church or Sunday school teacher. Nani hapa anafanya huduma jumapili huduma ya watoto kanisani. Please jump up. Stand up. Kafadhali simama. Please stand. stand. Hebu simama. Let them give them big hands. Hebu tuapigie mapofu sana watu. Amen. 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 This is very little. Hawa ni mashujaa wakubwa sana. Keep work hard. And the lab fun has you to do your best more work for kingdom. Do not tear moyo when they find your cards for Zuri and the cards of family. 
another recognition of the missionaries. We begin to know pick up what Tambua ni wa missionary. Korea had some 5,000 years of years histories. 5,000 years histories. Wow, wa Korea wana wa missionary zaidi ya elfu The kingdom of Korea was 5,000 years history. Ah, okay. Yani ule ufalme wao wa Korea, Korea kumbe ilikuwa ni ufalme ambao historia yao yake ufalme huo unarudi nyuma miaka 1000. Buddhist country. Ilikuwa ni nchi ya Buddha, ya Buddha. 1885 Easter Sunday there is a few family arrived in Korea. Mwaka from America. Young leader. Missionary. Family. Medical person. Medical person. Medical person. Just a handful missionary arriving in Korea. What missionary was touching Korea? That was a great blessing in Korea. Iyo ilikuwa ni baraka kubwa sana iyo ingia Korea. They bring the light of Jesus Christ in the land of darkness. What to how what he let a moon. Ya Yesu Kristo katika nchi ya Giza. One of them are Presbyterian. Mmoja wao alikuwa ni mtu wa imani ya Presbyterian. One of them as Methodist. Mwingine alikuwa mtu wa imani ya Methodist. 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 Okay. And they divide half Korea. How hard to work in our Korean cut cuts, no spanish. And they mapping for section to province to province. A last work in our tena katika sehemu, jimbo kwa jimbo. And also demographic of the people who live there in the, uh, in the sections. A last work at Tambua Aina Yawatu, one of the issues katika. They study and Korean culture. Wakadifuza mila na desturi za wa Korea. But also they try to reach them to gospel of Jesus Christ. Alafu wakajaribu pia kuafikia na injiri ya Yesu Christo. They're not easy to change their mindset. Lakini haikuwa rahisi kuwa bagilisha watu hao akiza. The culture. It's not easy to change their culture. That's what they change their strategies to evangelize in Korea. This is important for strategy for missions because we have a great productions. But we have to have some great marketing strategies. Ni muhimu sana kuwa na mikakati mzuri ambayo inaweza kawafikia watu. Kwa namna ambayo ule mpango yewe unamuzika kama vile soko. They focus for children because of children is important for future. Wao waliamua kuwa lenga watoto kwa sababu Watoto hao walionekana ni muhimu kwa ajili ya eh, baadaye hatima ya nchi 1885 to 1910 mwaka 1885 mpaka mwaka 1910 the 25 years miaka 25 hiyo missionaries start to school and to teach the children Walo wa missionari wakaanza kuwapeleka watoto shule na kuwafundisha. They plant new generation 
just like a farmer feels, you know, feeling. Wakawa wame wamepanda mbegu ya kizazi kipya kama vile mtu anavyopanda mbegu katika shamba the new generations are the gospel kizazi kipya kipewa injili thousand school as published by missionaries Christian school aha wakawa wamejenga shule tano za kikristo and teach them about the gospel na kwa na fundisha hao watoto habari za injili and they change the biblical culture na wakageuzwa wakageuzwa ili wawe na desturi au mila za biblia before one century, one century coming kabla ya ekalde moja kisha new generations coming from the school kizazi kipya kabisa kikawa kimeibuka kutokana na zile shule that's a new korea was born by american missionaries kwa namna hiyo korea mpya ikawa imezaliwa kutokana na juhudi za hao wa missionaries wa tano couple months ago we remember the korean war miezi michache iliyopita tulikumbuka vile tulikumbuka vile vita vya Korea 73rd anniversary of the Korean War ni mwanza ni 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 kumbukumbu ya kabila tatu ya vita hiyo vya Korea we greatly indebted for America and other United Nations countries all over the world tunajisikia deni kubwa sana kwa Marekani na mataifa mengine mbalimbali ya umoja wa mataifa ulimwenguni they bring the light of korea of darkness wamefletea uzima katika korea iliyokuwa ya giza the communists come june 25 1950 we start the korean war katika mwaka 1950 wa wa komunisti wa ndio walisababisha kuanza kwa vile vita vya wa korea 90% was given up and occupied by the communists in North Korea and Soviet Union. Asimia tisini ilikuwa imetawaliwa na 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 hao wa komunisti na hata wa Rusi. Korea only 10% less than 10% land was survived. Asimia kumi tu ya Korea ilikuwa imepona. The president was The, the founding president of Dr. Lee, he was a Christian and elder who was raised in Christian school. Huyo mwanzilishi au mwanzilishi wa hiyo Korea sasa, nchi ya sasa hivi, alikuwa amelelewa katika hiyo shule za Kikristo. Huyo mkuu Dr. Dr. Lee just like a small piece like a Zanzibar of old Tanzania there is a small piece left then all the present call all the pastors and elders Christians let's pray fasting and pray for nation kalikuwa kamebaki hata kipande kadogo tu kama Zanzibar ukilinganisha na nchi nzima ya Tanzania ambapo kamepona huyo rais huyo dr Lee akawaita wachungaji wote akasema njooni sasa tuombe kwa ajili ya nchi yetu seriously we pray and fasting na kwa dhati na kwa bidii tukafunga na kuomba God answer the prayer na Mungu akayajibu yale maombi and America na Marekani United Nations moja wa mataifa they send the troops wakatuma majeshi um, a lot of work a lot of missionary and a lot of soldiers to come and to help and to push them back to north maskari wengi sana walikuja kusaidia na kuwasukumilia mbali wale maadui these are the second blessings we received from america and united nations for many countries at least 36 countries to help the korean war kwa sisi hilo lilikuwa ni somo la pili kulilo jifunza kutoka kwa Marekani pamoja na mmoja wa mataifa kwa na, na ijumuisha mataifa angalau 30 hivi kwenye hivyo vita 
This is what we remember as. Haya, tunatuna mbili mstari wa saba, yuko inasema, Consider this generation long past. Ask your father, and he will tell you, you elder, and they will explain to you. Kumbuka siku za kari. Tafakari miaka ya mizazi vingi. Muulize baba yako. Nae atakuonyesha wazee wako nao watakuambia. Without their sacrifice. Bila dhabihu yao. Without their dedications. Bila kujitoa kwa. We cannot exist as a freedom. Hatungeweza kuwepo sasa hivi kama taifa huu. I just want to recognize one of the groups here. Kuna kundi jingine moja ambao nataka kujitambua hapa. Missionaries. Wamishionaries. Especially Assembly of God. Hasa wale wa Assembly of God. World. World Assembly of God. That's people from America. Wale watu walao toka Marekani. Many other countries. Pengine pia wapo wa mataifa mingine. They gave up their country. Wame acha mila zao. They are... They give up their families and their, their comfortable life. Wameacha familia zao na maisha yao mazuri. Dedicate their life to our country, your country. Wameatoa maisha yao kwa taifa letu, taifa lenu. Please support him. Then. Tafadhali wa wasaidieni. Appreciate him for their effort and their sacrifice. Shambueni juhudi zao na kujidapiu kwao. I like to let them send out a missionary, AGWM families, and we like to give them a great respect and love and support. Nataka wasimame tuweze kwa tambua na kwa pigia makofu. Thank you. We have a missionary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe love that you are personally in relation with them. Personally in close relation with them. When they come, how do you carry this on and on? But remember, they give their life for your people. Like in Kumbuka, Pamba, what to how? Wanatoa maisha yao kwa ajili ya watu wenu. The scripture says you all remember that you were slaves. Kuandiko linasema kumbuka ya kwamba mlikuwa watumwa nini. If we forget the people's grace. Kama tukasahau neema inayoletwa na watu wengine, eventually they will forget the grace of God. Hatimaye tutaisahau hata neema ya Mungu. If you forget them, ukiwasahau hawa, soon or later you will forget the Mara, grace of God who redeemed you from the slavery of sins. Mara baada ya muda fulani, utasahau, utaisahau neema ile ya Mungu iliyokukomboa wewe kutoka kwenye utumwa wa dhambi. Hello, when you going to say amen? See, see, we are even talking about Amina Sangapi. I don't know. See, the Korean one promise very slow respond everything. Kunadi mo mo ya kule Korea ambalo liko ko ko isana kuidiki ati kichochoke. In Chungchong province in the middle of South, South Korea, you will be go katikatia of Korea to see. They always walk slow. They talk very slow. They respond very slow. I preach the gospel of a revival lady there. Ujumbe wa wamsu hapa. Nobody say amen. Hakuna naeze mamene. First night, second night, siku ya kwanza, siku ya pili, third night, siku ya tatu. 
They never say amen. They're so quiet, just like Tanzanian parents. I was shocked. I complained to pastor. How do you teach them people to not say amen? Pastor says, you don't understand our people. Chumchum prophets respond with very slow. They go home, later say amen. Say, I am lip service is not important. I know you are deeply inside. You say amen. Inside. Amen. I know that. This is important. Amen. Amen. Many people then are laughed. And the pastor tried to laugh. Now, what really our our church in Chuchan province then I left. Now, when they took when they did more, you know, what do our church get them to be able to go to church? Then when they left, they go home. What you do? What you do? What you do? You want to be in the evening? You want to be in the evening? You want to be in the evening? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Let me, let me. I don't know what we're doing. Okay. In many different ways, we was a slavery of the worldly things. Sulikuwa ni watumwa wa madawa ya kulevia au uraibu wa aina zigine mbali mbali vya mambo ya dunia hii. But praise of God, the blood of Jesus Christ. Nema ya mungu ikamleta Yesu Christo. Redeem us all the past our nakedness. Ika kukomboa na ulezi wa madawa yote na vitu yote vipaya ya zamani. Give us a great authority to become our children of God. Ni kukeo wa mamlaka makubwa sana kuitwa watoto wa mungu. Free from the old laws. Watu ambao wako huru mbali na utumwa wakare. Free from all the sins of as we did. Wako huru kutoka dhambi za kale tumekombolewa. In Galatians 5.1 Katika wakalatia tano moja It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Ni kwamba Yesu Christo ametueka huru kutoka kwenye dhambi. Stand for Tasa, Simana, Imara And do not let yourself be burdens against by the yoke of slavery. Na usinazwe tena katika utumwa wako wa zamani. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If we forget the past, kama tutasahau ya zamani, we're going to confuse ourselves present. Tutajichanganya wenyewe katika wakati huu. Someone who correctly understands the past, mm-hmm. they will see the future clearly direction of their way. Mtu anayelewa vizuri yaliyo tangulia huko nyuma anaweza pia kuangalia vizuri huko mbele anakoenda. That's what we remember for what where we came from. Hivyo ndivyo sisi tunakumbuka kule tulikotoka. Who saw help us? Nani aliyetusaidia? Who saved us? Who redeems us from the sins? Nani aliyetukomboa kutoka kwenye dhambi zile? That's what we remember. Ndivyo tunapokuwa we have to teach the children. Tunapaswa kuwafundisha watoto wetu the national histories, 
historia ya kitaifa also human history historia ya wanadamu and biblical history na historia ya biblia we have to teach them where we came from ya paswa tuwafundishe watoto kwamba ni wapi tulikotokea yes forget that you know forget them but do not forget what we had in trouble tuwasamehe walio tutendea mabaya lakini tusisahau matatizo tuliyopitia Korea was a great help from the whole world United Nations America many many blessings we received without their help Korea not survive in this world Korea kwa kweli ilisaidiwa sana na mataifa mengine ambayo bila msaada wao Korea tusingekuwa hapa tuliko maybe i don't know about your christian history labda wengine wanafahamu kuhusu historia ya Kristo wenu but i don't know about much about Tanzania history lakini mimi sifahamu sana kuhusu historia za Tanzania but many people many countries many organizations Many people they try to help you to be blessed in countries. Lakini watu wengi mataifa mbalimbali wanajaribu kuwasaidieni muwe taifa lilo barikiwa. Amen. 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 Kujia mbona amen. Can you say amen please? Unaweza kusema amen kwa sababu Amen. 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 One day, right after Korean War start, siku moja mara tu baada ya vita ile ya Korea kuanza, 1950 June 25, the day of communists, they attacking without notice, just attacking Korea the uh, south. Ule mwaka wa 1950 Karesha kano juni hawa wa communist walishambulia Korea ghafla bila taarifa yoyote. Just two weeks they decided to United Nations and troops Korea. Baada tu ya wiki chache umoja wa mataifa ukapeleka majeshi kule Korea. I think 30 40,000 young people died as casualties of Korean War. Na kile kati ya watu 1300 au zaidi vijana walikufa kwa sababu ya vita hiyo ya Korea. To keep make us to freedom country. Kusudi ikiwa ni kutufanya sisi tuwe taifa huru. Somebody work for you. Kuna mtu and the father has what you yeah. benefit to your blessings wewe unabarikiwa kwa baraka hizo amen amen haleluya haleluya right after korean war few days later few weeks later we be talked about that then they have a one one uh what it called uh project kulikuwa na mradi fulani the American battleships go to Korea. The, in the middle of the ship, they have a tank and all the material of the war and military support. Kulikuwa na na meli za kivita, manowari flani, ambazo zina zina silaha mbalimbali kuja kuleta msaada. But in the middle of the battleships, they have a lot of animal was there. Na katikati au ndani ya hizi meli za kivita kulikuwa na wanyama kadhaa cows ngombe and pig na nguruwe and also goats sheep kondo so the animal was there wanyama wengi mbalimbali walikuwepo huko ndani and there are almost very young people with a cowboy with this uh, cowboy shoes They help this animal to the feed them and they bring back to the garbage. Na kulikuwa na vijana 
vijana ambao ni watunga watungaji wa wa, wa wa nyama wana wapo pale kuwasaidia wanyama kuwalisha kuwa sogeza sogeza na kadhalika wako pale na kutoa uchafu the mission organization names hate international kulikuwa na taasisi ya kimishonari inaitwa Help International send this animal with the young people to bring them to Korea because of the Korean war destroyed everything they helped to rebuild even in the middle of the war they send the animals to help the people poor and poverty isha sisi ya missionary ilituma hawa wanyama kusaidia wa Korea kwa sababu katikati ya vita wa Korea kila kitu chao kilikuwa kimeharibiwa in the mission the organization record say 1952 to 76 there's almost 20 years they 44 times trans pacific shipping go and back to america about 3200 the cows and all kind of 300 people to help them to bring them animal to korea to save korean people to hunger kwa miaka takriban 20 hawa watu waliendelea kutoa msaada wa namna hiyo maelfu ya wanyama waliletwa ili kusaidia wa Korea we never forget them their help watu hao hatuwasahau kwa msaada wao we appreciate their help tunathamini sana msaada wao we help we want to survive ourselves kama usingekuwa msaada wao sisi wenyewe tusingeweza kupona Korea was the poorest country in all 200 country of the world the last Korea is a poverty country in Korea ilikuwa ndio maskini wa mwisho katika mataifa yote 200 ya dunia wakati huo we now forget their help sisi hatutasahau kule msaada wa watu hao we appreciate for their help then we want to work with them and that we can want hard work for rebuild for the country tunashukuru sana kwa msaada wao na sisi tunataka kuchapa kazi pamoja nao kwa kuwa wametusaidia kuinuka hapo tulipofikia one day in california siku moja kule california the oakland airport they were special uh, passengers in the airplane wafanya kazi wa uwanja wa ndege walikuwa wanamsaidia mmoja wako wa abiria kutoka kwenye ndege it was 1954 1954 1954 mwaka 1954 then airplane went into special days to bring it korea ile ndege ilikuwa ipo pale inasubiri kuleta vitu maalumu korea 200,000 egg to hate and, and uh, for the chick ile ndege ileta eh mayai elfu ngapi chick of an egg how many 210,000 elfu elfu 20 210,000 eggs elfu elfu mbili mayai elfu mbili elfu shina moja ya jepa mayai elfu shina moja ili ya totolewe and 1.500,000 bees with 200 bee box na ya kale hali bees you know that wakaletwa mizinga maelfu ya mizinga ili ya nyuki ili nao waweze kuzaliwa huko because of the war there is a lot of bombing all these sides with the chemicals and bomb there is no bees in Korea kwa sababu ya vita na mabomu yanapigwa kila mahali na madawa yanaruka ruka nyuki walikufa na wakapotea katika ile you know what what happened without bees there is no fruit unajua kinatokea nini kama hakuna nyuki huwezi kupata matunda ya miti they bring the millions of bees with the box a special plan to not high fly to blow the low fly they takes a three four days wakaleta nyuki wengi sana kwenye mabotu masanduku ili kwamba wawaweke katika maeneo mbalimbali waweze kuzaliana na kusaidia kuchagusha 
Amen. Amen. We now forget their health. This is important. This is important. We have to remember who save us, who help us. Yes. If you deeply appreciate their sacrifice, their support, their, their dedication. Kama ukatamini kwa dhati, ni muhimu kutamini kwa dhati dhabi huzao na kujitoa kwa. Then we have a great motivation to develop ourselves to hard work to build a great country. Tukiweza kutamini na mna hiyo, tunapata kichocheo cha kufanya kazi kwa bibi kujenga nchieti. Amen. 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 and talk about English education. Tanzania has a great potential. Tanzania ina 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 weze kanu mkubwa sana. And Tanzania has a great country, you know that. Na Tanzania pia ni taifa kubwa au ku mnafahamu ye. Everybody knows about Tanzania. Kila mtu anaijua Tanzania. All people, many of them, they have a bucket list to visit two, three things. Kuna watu maelfu huko nje nchi ambao wanafikiria kutembelea Tanzania kuangalia vitu kama vitatu. You know what the bucket list? Bucket list. Bucket, bucket list is before I die, I have to do this and this and uh -huh. this and this. There's a bucket list we call. Okay. Kuna oroda ya vitu ambavyo mba na kiwekea kwamba kabla sijaka ya pasa nifanyi hiki na hiki na hiki. Ndiyo hiyo anahita bucket list. That's a bucket list. Ndiyo anahita hiyo. You understand? Many people, I know that, they have a bucket list about at least two or three in the Tanzania. Now, you are what to kada ambao wanaoroda ya vitu kama viwili au vitatu vya kuja kutembelea Tanzania kabla hawajaka. One is a Kilimanjaro. Ya kwanza ni Mlima Kilimanjaro. Serengeti, Serengeti, Ngorongoro na Ngorongoro. Amen. 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 I personally always really to one day I'm going to climb up the Kilimanjaro. I'm too busy. I'm too busy for that. Several young children in our church, they come to Kilimanjaro, they climb up to certain levels. Lakini bi yana kaza toka kanisa ni kwetu wa kutubutu kupanda mlima kimanjaro paka mahali flani. You have a great asset of the tourism in in this generation. All world they miss you, just like in New York. Nini mna hazina kubwa sana ya utali kwa mlima kama huo wa kimanjaro? Tanzania people want to visit to New York, but New York people most of them visit to Tanzania. Nini pekine mna tamani kutembelea New York, lakini watu wa New York, wawa mna tamani kutembelea Tanzania. Expense. Nini mbadilishana, mbadilishana na mna hii. Hallelujah. But, remember, lakini kumbuka, you need the great assets of the development of the tourism, you need to language issues. Ili uweze kukuza utali na mna hiyo, unaitaji kujenga uwezo wako wakungea kinjereza. Thailand, they have another, Cambodia, they have another, another asset of the tourism. Cambodia, and another asset of the tourism. Ile nchi ya Cambodia, na hiyo inahazina fulani ya utali. They have Angkor Wat, Angkor Wat. Wana kitu kina ito Angkor Wat, ambake siku ni ni. That's all the temple. Ni, 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 tekalu fulani la zamanda. I, I met several people there. Ni liwai kutana na watu kadha kari. 
Uh, millions and millions of people they visit to Tanzania for to look at. Kuna ma million na ma million ya watu wanakuja Tanzania kutazama vitu flani. There is not much people who speak in English. Na kuna watu si wengi sana wanaoongea Kiingereza. Without English, they have a monthly salary of 200 or 300 US dollars. Oh, and as a good example, we have in Cambodia, where kabla ya kujua Kiingereza, we have a lot of people who are not able to speak. And for example, here, we have a lot of people who are not able to speak. If you speak English, they the monthly pay 1,300 dollars. Kama anaongea Kiingereza, anapewa mshahara mkubwa kutoka and I visit the Brazil country, Brazil, South America. The pure heart and humble, humble servant. And respect each other. Thank you for leadership of Assembly of God. Thank you for your sending missionary from overseas to this land. Thank you for you raising young teachers who care the next generation of children. Thank you for giving us a good leadership of Tanzania Assembly of God. Asante kutupa uongozi mzuri wa Tanzania Assembly of God. Superintendent, superintendents, and executive presbyteries, and sectional presbyters, na maskofu wa majimbo, na wa section, and district superintendents. Na na wangalizi wa sehemu. And local church ministers and pastors. And then the poor lady men who are serving without condition, tireless workers. And Thank you for you gave us a great vision from heaven. Thank you for you sending fire to have a great dreams for Bringing for future dreams. Bless this congregation and every congregation in Tanzania Assembly of God. Thank you for you all. You're going to open the great future of this denominational and national revival by prayer and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for everyone who is serving this body and this country last many, many hundred years. Keep us remind them and we thank them and we work hard for responding for our best effort to make a great future. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Naomba tutai. Tukuzangu viongozi. My brothers and fellow leaders. Wanaesha sikiri. Praise the Lord. Tunako jianda kutoa sadaka. As we prepare ourselves to give our offerings. Akisha kipindi mingini. And then the next session. Mimi. Nataka ni shukuru sana Dr. King. I want to thank so much Dr. King. This is his last session in Minnesota.
lakini bado yuko pamoja na Nataka ni kushukuru sana 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 sana. I want to thank you so 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 much. Kwa kuja hapa nchini for coming here into our country na kuhudumu katika mkutano huu maalum and to be sent to this gathering. He's a pastor who the whole world needs him. Na ni mchungaji mwenye heshima kubwa sana Marekani na duniani. And he's a very honorable pastor in America and all over the world. Na ukizungumza katika Assembly of God ya Marekani na dunia, huyu ni kati ya nguzo za Assembly of God. When you're talking about the Assembly of God in America and uh, all over the world, he's a man of the pillars. Mimi nime amenikaribisha kanisani kwake. He has invited me in his church. Nimeenda karibu mara mara tatu au mara nne. And I've been there about three four times. Na nimeponelaza kwenye hoteli nzuri sana. And they took me to a very good hotel. Wamenipa chakula kizuri sana. They gave me wonderful food. Na mafurushi mengi ya zawadi. And a lot of gifts. And he has given birth to many ministers, great men of God. And we have some people here who were invited to go to New York. Ezekiel Mokajwan Gaikwa. Thank you, Mokajwanda. Please come in front here. Pastor Cheo. Pastor Cheo. He has also been invited to New York. And they've been there for quite a long time. And they've been there for many, many days. Also, Pastor Dondo, where are you? He's also been there. So when he says welcome to New York, he means it. He's a very generous brother. Now me, 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 when I'm on my own, I'm not even thinking. Afanye kazi na Tanzania sense of God. And I've been praying to God for many days that all the people should work with Tanzania sense of God. Afanye kazi na baraza hili kula sense of God. That he may work with this council of Tanzania sense of God. Na mshukuru mungu sana. And I'm so thankful to God. Mungu wa mediki maumu. God has answered my prayers. kama mzekimu haya matamuka liyo toa hapa and just like the things that he has mentioned here siyo vitu ranisi they are not simple things ni maajabu ya maajabu it's just wonders na tisitu kama mikuwa mnaelewa mani yona kama makofi ene ya jaifu sana na hini nasema ni maajabu ya maajabu That him, uh, as God has called him to work with TAG to reach these children almost 50% in our country. And you will work with us at the national level. He's ready to go to our district. He's ready to go to our sessions. He's ready to go to our departments. And together we can join our forces and help the child in the country.